In this video, I'm talking all about the warp stabilizer and how this tool can help to smooth out your video clips. So let's get into it. Now, as you can see, I've got this video clip on my timeline. I'm sliding from right to left and there's a little bit of wobble on the slider. So from here, I'm gonna go into effects and search for warp stabilizer. That should be under the distort folder and you just wanna drop that onto your video clip. Now, your computer is going to analyze the video clip. It's basically analyzing the movement of the shot and finding a way to smooth out the movement and get rid of some of that handheld shake. And when we watch this back, you can see that warp stabilizer has helped to really smooth out that camera movement. You can't really see those camera wobbles at the end. Of course though, this clip was already quite smooth to begin with. So what do we do with video clips that are a little bit more aggressive in the handheld camera movement? Now, as you can see, this video clip that I've just imported includes a lot of camera movement and I've done a zoom on this clip. So are we able to warp stabilize this clip? Let me show you. Now, when we play this video clip back, you can see the warp stabilizer has done an okay job at removing the video clips. But as you can see, there's a little bit of distortion in a few areas. So just here at the end, it's gone a little bit blurry where that effect has been applied. And you can also see it just about here as well. Of course though, it's done a decent job. But if you wanted to remove that little bit of distortion at the end, then you can do that of one of two different ways. So we'll go into stabilization. The first is results. We've got smooth motion and no motion. No motion is if you wanted a static shot. So you wanted to mimic a tripod shot. Obviously there's too much movement for that to work here. So we'll stick to smooth movement. And then we'll pull the smoothness down to 10%. Essentially with the smoothness, the smaller the number, the less the warp stabilizer is going to do to the clip. So if you're getting a little bit of distortion, then pulling down the smoothness is going to help to get rid of that distortion. Now, Warp Stabilizer in the method setting has an option called Subspace Warp, and that is the default setting on Warp Stabilizer. And this basically means it's going to warp your clips together to create the effect of a smooth shot. But the problem is the warping can sometimes look a little bit artificial, and that's why you end up with that glitching, weird distortion look. So if you change the method from subspace to position scale rotation, essentially Premiere is going to read every single frame and it's going to move the position, the scale and the rotation so that it creates a smooth camera movement. There's no warping between frames. It's just done on the movement of the position, scale and rotation. It's very clever stuff. And then if we move down, we can see we've got framing, we've got stabilized crop auto scale selected, and you just want to select this. Don't worry about the others for now because it's just going to create a whole world of problems for you. As you can see, if I select stabilize only, it stabilized the footage, but it hasn't cropped the footage, which means we're getting this black edge around the video. So if we set that back to stabilize crop and auto scale, you can see it's filled in the edges of the frame. And there you go, that is Warp Stabilizer. Now, Warp Stabilizer is extremely powerful and it can really help to advance the look of your video clip, but it can only do so much. If you throw a really shaky handheld video clip at Warp Stabilizer, it's going to freak out and it's not going to work. So really focus on getting your footage right on set. Focus on getting really smooth, really nice footage. And then adding Warp Stabilizer on top of that already fairly smooth footage is going to help to smooth out the footage and take it to that next level. So Warp Stabilizer is incredible. That is how you use it, but please do not rely on it. Focus on your shot on the day of filming. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.